dear students in this lecture we will look at what is meant by endocytosis what are all the various forms of endocytosis endocytosis refers to a process in which cell membrane fold inward trapping and enclosing a small amount of matter from a extracellular fluid is called as a endocytosis that is taking something inside that is endo there are three different types of endocytosis have been documented there in the living organism it includes pinocytosis phagocytosis and receptor mediated endocytosis in this lecture we are going to see in detail about pinocytosis phagocytosis in the next lecture we are going to see about the receptor mediated endocytosis pinocytosis refers to cell drinking intake of small droplet of extracellular fluid together with any dissolved substances or a very small particle that it may contain are all taken inside with that water that is called as a cell drinking thus it helps in bringing fluid into the cytoplasm we are tiny vesicles that too from the infoldings of the membrane itself this process occur nearly in all cell types and over the different time periods the next one is phagocytosis as pinocytosis refers to cell drinking phagocytosis refers to cell eating that is taking some small thing inside this term was coined by elai mechnikov a russian microbiologist intake of large droplet of extracellular fluid often it includes lot of particular particulate matter such as a bacteria or some small organic matter content are all taken inside this process occur only in certain specialized cells say for example in a mammal it commonly takes place through macrophages as well as the various types of white blood corpuscles whereas this process is very common there in amoeba mainly to form into the contractile vacuole and finally the food vacuole formation is resulted due to phagocytosis process the engulfed particle is present within the structure which used to call by different terms such as a vacuole or vesicle vesicle is a term commonly associated with the eukaryotic organism vacuole they used to refer with the amoeba at unicellular level it is referred as a ed of the cell whereas at a multicellular level the main function of the phagocytosis is to eliminate the cells worn out organelles or the old organelles of the cells say for example a old mitochondria has been present that particular mitochondria will be engulfed by this phagocytosis pro process and it will be completely digested so this kind of in this type of process eliminating the cells worn out organelles or the old organelles is referred as a autophagism however they also play an another process that is to eliminate the pathogens by phagocytizing them when they are entering into the body so this process of phagocytosis is often called as a allophagocytosis and the structure involved is referred as a allophagosome now you look at the autophagosomy process say i already told a worn out organelle or a old mitochondrion can be phagocytized by the autophagocytosis process you can able to see a old mitochondrion that have been engulfed there with the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum the first stage is called as a phagophore formation next it is converted into a autophagosome a structure in which the whole content will be digested so this autophagosome will be further joined by a multicellular endosome endosomes refers to membrane bound vesicle that are formed via a complex family of process collectively known as endocytosis and they are found in the cytoplasm of virtually any kind of an animal cell it can also be referred as collection of intracellular sorting organelles in a eukaryotic cells can also be referred as a, a multi vesicular endosome is fusing there with the autophagosome to form into an amphisome structure which was further and finally joined by lysosome 
which help in the digestion of the worn out organ. So the final structure formed is referred as the autolysosome. So for the discoveries of the mechanism that have been involved there in the autophagy has been conducted by several scientists. One of the important person behind the studies on its mechanism is Oshinori Oshubi. For his contribution, he has been awarded with a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in the year 2016.